Cheers, apple juice. Mmm, I cure these glasses as well. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting ready for New Year's. This is a trial run because I am taking it seriously this year. Do you know why? Because I am going to start the year impeccably. Not only do I know that I definitely won't be too drunk, because I can't drink, but I just want to be looking and feeling like straight fire, hence the trial. You may notice that I have a golden sun-kissed glow to my skin. I actually have already done my fake tan and I filmed it for you. So we're gonna reverse back in time a little bit and I'm gonna show you that right now. Hello, it's Jamie from the past. Let's do our tan. Honorable mention, my foundation. I'm gonna do this in this video for my, like for my new year makeup. You are not gonna believe this, but it is so long lasting, it is so beautiful. Skin Dew, not Skin Nova, Skin Dew, the highlighter mixed with my Vive Modern Radiance Concealer. I can't believe that this is what it looks like and I actually, I didn't even come up with this. Someone that worked my pop-up did, Zoe, our assistant manager. I'm obsessed. I am, of course, working with you, Tan, the tanning loves of my life. I have a 20% off code. It's just Jamie, all caps, and that gives you 20% off. There's some exclusions, I'll pop them below. I'm like, if I had to recommend something, you're gonna be so shocked by this. My U-Tan Jamie Genevieve CBD Tanning Water. Uh, I like 50% darker. The Turbo Tan, of course, where is mine? The Boyfriend Mitt, Best Mitt. You can chuck it through the washing machine as well, it lasts ages. I have my Turbo Tan in the Cherry Almond scent, but there is a new product. I've talked about it briefly on Instagram. You get the Flawless Blend brush free with every kit that you buy. So my favourite products come in a kit already. My code works as a discount on the kit. So you get 20% off, but you also get your free brush. This is like the softest, easiest brush to use and it's really great for your hands. So see if you're struggling with your hands, you can use this. Use a little bit of hand cream. I'm actually gonna do this and show you, but you use a little bit of hand cream and you just blend the turbo tan on your hand and it's perfect. Great for your face. Great for if you have blonde hair, really light hair, and you feel like a spray. You sometimes get fake tan in your hair because that can happen. You can spray your tan and water on your brush and then put it on. It is currently 20 past nine. So I am gonna do my favorite trick, which is sleeping in my tan. The turbo tan you'll see when I'm putting it on, it has a really good guide color and I've got tons of videos of my tanning routine and stuff. It's really not changed. It's like foolproof to me. The only thing that changes is sometimes the tools like adding like a brush for my hands. I have two favorite ways to tan, okay? One of them is the way that I'm gonna do it just now, which is like my favorite lazy tanning. I put it on and I go to bed and I sleep in it. Another way that I like to use it is if I have like an admin day or a day around the house, I'll put it on in the morning and then I'll wash it off at night if you want to avoid sleeping in your bed with your tan on, but honestly, it does not bother me one bit. I also really like leaving it on for quite long so I get a really nice deep color. You can leave the turbo tan on for one hour and wash it off and it'll develop over time so you get a really nice like sun-kissed glow. I can't rave about this enough. It is just the best fake tan of all time. I cannot wait to show you the before and after because it is just, it happens while I'm sleeping. That's the thing that really makes me happy. It's like passive activity. <laughs> okay, I've got no makeup on and I'm just taking all my jewelry off. Not all of it, I don't take all my earrings out. I'll take my hoops out, the like bottom lobe. I'll take my necklaces off and my bracelets. I always leave these on and I've got two bracelets that are like welded to my wrists. Usual from the usual, I had a bath and I shaved, did all of that yesterday. I gave my elbows and knees and ankles and hands and feet some extra attention with moisturizer. And then today I've had a shower, but nothing crazy, no shaving or anything. And literally it's the same as always. I always use this mousse and I always use this mitt. This tan has the easiest guide color. Oh my God, it smells so good as well. And I'm literally just gonna buff it in to my skin. <laughs> this is the palest I've been in a little while. I've not been away. And obviously the weather in Scotland's freezing cold and it's like winter. I still have like very faint tan lines from wherever I was last. I'm definitely losing it. Look at this undercut. Absolutely wild. What should I do? Do you think I should cut my hair? I've been fighting it, bringing it up my neck all over. Honestly, this is just foolproof. And then I just go over my whole armpit with the mitt. It's the best way. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna continue this on. I literally just do that all over my body and I'll come back and show you my hands. I'm freshly tanned everywhere, apart from my face and my hands. So I'm gonna use a little bit of moisturizer. You can use anything. Uh, I'm gonna use the moisturizer I'm using on my face. You don't need that much at all. And I'm literally just gonna rub that in 
like a tiny amount just so there's a tiny bit of moisturizer that you can feel on your hands but it should just sink in get your brush a little bit of the mousse like honestly it's just like doing makeup it goes in the brush but it also sits at the top so you can just sweep it over your hands your feet do the claw you can go right over your knuckles basically it's like a way more precise way of tanning your hands that doesn't involve using the whole mitt the look you can barely see it but i would rather have i say this all the time i'd rather have slightly paler hands than two dark hands this is actually really good as well if you make any mistakes so if you wake up and you see that you've missed a bit or there's a bit that you've not quite blended properly you can use your brush and your tan and just go over it until it develops and it's blended but look at that perfectly tanned hands i'm just going to use my moisturizer on my actual face because i'm going to do the same thing to my face so i use my tan and water every day to build it up so i'm going to use a little bit just now and then when that's still drying i'm actually going to go in with a tiny bit of the turbo tan on the brush on my face it's like flawless you could use the brush for any kind of tan touring as well tan touring is basically like using your fake tan as bronzer or contour it's just great for avoiding your eyebrows and you can even bring it down your neck the wee brush comes in a case as well so when you're finished you can just pop it and it's little home for the next time that you're tanning it's perfect so that is me fully tanned i'm gonna wait for this to dry a little bit more and then i'm gonna go to my bed i'm gonna wake up tomorrow i'm gonna shower it off and i'll be back to show you what the results are like but this is me and i'll see you tomorrow no come here come here oh. good morning they're perfect i've not even washed it off yet look how natural and lovely oh my god i've got cupping marks <laughs> but that is so good and I actually had the best sleep ever last night. I wore those pyjamas that I had on there from the white company. They're like the jersey ones. They're so comfy. They're so good. Some of my pyjamas don't fit me anymore. I've got some work I need to get on with and I'm going to be back and we're going to do a makeup trial for New Year because I want to be very glam. And maybe we'll look at clothes as well. Thank you very much, you Tan, for working with me on that portion of the video. I love it. My big belly is so bronzed. I love it. Okay, we're going to do our makeup now, and I know exactly what look I want to create. Very excitingly, a lot of this is Vive product, which is just so wild to me at the end of the year. I've actually, maybe I'm going to use some stuff that you've not seen before as well. But we're going to start with some skincare. I'm going to use my Fresh Vitamin Nectar Water. Love. I'm going to go in with my moisturiser. This is the Allies of Skin Peptides daily moisturiser. I actually used this literally this morning. <laughs> but it's actually evening time now. Guys, today's my last day of work before Christmas. It's the 22nd, so I'm got, I've got Friday and Saturday off and I just can't wait. So this is actually my last bit of work, almost for the year. Uh, and you're actually seeing this, I suppose, after Christmas. So I hope that anyone that celebrates had a really nice Christmas. Anyone that doesn't, I hope you got a really nice day off, nice rest. I'm very excited about Christmas because I actually asked for a present. <laughs> There was a, something very specifically that I wanted and it was a new planner that is a forever planner. So basically something that you buy inserts for. And I think that's what I've got for my Christmas. That's what I've asked for. But it's just a really nice one. It's a nice one. You'll see, you'll have seen it on my Instagram. But I just, I'm so excited to try and be organized next year. I think that for me is like my uh, like resolution is to write things down more so they don't just float around in my head because it's a busy place to be. I don't want to be up, I don't want to be there anymore. I'm gonna use Skin Nova next. Uh, so even though I've used my moisturizer, I'm still using Skin Nova. It still works great as a primer with your moisturizer. So I use Skin Nova as a moisturizer quite a lot, but if my skin needs a little bit of extra richness, I'll use a kind of thicker moisturizer underneath. In my last vlog, I actually went through kind of like a rough skincare routine. That's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, and it works really good. Are you ready for this combo? You're going to die. Well, no, I hope you don't die. For my base, we're going to mix Skin Dew and we're going to mix Modern Radiance Concealer. I am using the shade M4 and I'm just rolling two doe foots on the back of my hand. And it's honestly almost equal parts. So I've got Skin Dew and I've got my concealer on the back of my hand. I'm at, I literally go in with my finger and I'm just going to mix them together. I feel like this is the best way to mix them properly and not like lose any product. I'll wait until you see what happens. And I have wore this about four times now. It is so long lasting. It looks radiant all day. The coverage is perfect. It's got just the right amount of like stick to it. I cannot wait for you all to try this and see if you do, can you please let me know how you get on? You can message me on Instagram, you can comment here. Anything you like 
going to go with my foundation brush. I'm really sorry, this is sold out at the moment. We are doing everything we can to get it back. I'm going to go in with my 117. Are you ready to see what this looks like? Unbelievable. <laughs> I am so excited and you guys know, you know, I always talk about customizable coverage and making your products work for you however you need them that day. So if you've got, you know, if you're feeling great and you just want a tiny bit of coverage, use a tiny bit of concealer with your fingers to do a little touch up. If you are needing full, full coverage, you can go in with your concealer and build it right up. This is just another way for us to use these products. This is like perfection to me. Because Skin Juice got skincare properties as well, it's got squalene and niacinamide, it honestly just works. It's mad. Look at the glow as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight in with the concealer and use it like I normally do. So that is under my eyes. And because this is like my new year makeup, I'm going quite, quite heavy. Like I want a good face of makeup today. And I'm just going to blend that out with a sponge, tapping that out. My God, is it perfect? I'm not joking. It's radiant, it's glowy, it feels really comfortable on. Now I'm going to go back in with my sponge and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this kind of bronzing product. I've just been obsessed, okay, and I really wanted to use it for this video because I'm going to use it on New Year and that's pretty much all I'm going to say about that. So can someone tell me why I have to shut one eye whenever I'm doing my bronzer? I'm going to really try not do that. <laughs> I've thought this since I ever like first started doing makeup. It's always been the same. Base makeup is my favourite, totally my favourite thing. I love doing it so much. And look, now my colour is perfect. Setting spray. I'm going to go in with my all nighter, soak my face, and then I'm going to go straight into eyebrows. It's so easy right now, I'm, I'm obsessed as well. I have my Benefit Pow Made, which is their pomade. And I've got my angle brush. I'm going to go through my brows with my spoolie. This is in the shade four. So it's a really nice dark neutral brown, which is really important. See if anything's too warm on me. It doesn't look great. My hair's quite ashy, naturally. I've not had my hair done in absolute ages. And you can see it's like, it's just quite, quite cool toned, quite flat. So this color is perfect. And I literally just go through the middle of my eyebrows. How times have changed for me, by the way. Through the middle of the arch, down. And that's just made them a wee bit darker, a little bit more filled in. They're no bigger than the shape that they naturally are. I am so low-key about my eyebrows right now. I'm just going to put my 24-hour brow setter over. And then by the time I've done this, this has honestly just been my routine. By the time I've done this, my setting spray will have dried. I'll set my face, we'll add blush or bronzer, and we're done. With the base makeup, that's how easy it is. Gimme brow in the shade number five. Plumps up the hairs a little bit more, makes them nice and dark. It's so easy, it, it's just foolproof as well. Now I'm going to go in with my Modern Powder Perfector. Look at that, much loved. And this is what sealed the deal for me, so you can see that I'm quite shiny, right? You know that I don't like to be too salesy with my own products, right? I don't know what it is about it, but it's just because it's my own brand, I never want you to feel like I'm forcing it down your throat. But if you need a new powder, right? Or if you've ran out of your old one or you're wanting to try a new one, I cannot recommend the one that I've made enough. It is the best pressed powder. Loads of the reviews as well are people that are like, I've got dry skin and I hate powder and I love this. It looks unbelievable on the skin. It just blurs everything out. It makes everything look like skin. It's very smooth. Thing, really buildable so I love using a kind of fluffier brush this is my one two three brush and I love buffing it into my skin small circles we've got four shades so I use the shade medium it's really easy to navigate if you have a look on my website it just makes your skin look like butter it lasts all day it never looks cakey or like you've even got powder on but your makeup is just set in place and it won't move and I use the tiniest amount under my eye there's loads of ways that I like to use it under my eyes. I like the baking thing with the sponge. I like, you know, putting on quite a lot, but my favorite way to wear it is just minimal, minimal powder like this, swept under the eye. And do you see that's just taking away any excess, like shine, but what you're left with is like the glorious skin. I, I really love it, I'm very proud of it. Let's finish our complexion off with my Dimension Face Palette. The Dimension Face Palette's for a limited edition, right? We have sold out of Dawn. Dawn is, Dawn is no more, it's gone and it won't come back. This is Dusk. So Dusk is the slightly deeper version. I love using this all year round, but I just use a much lighter hand than I would. So I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. I'm gonna set whatever bronzer I have on my face already. Do you know what's on my list to do tomorrow is clean my brushes. There is no bigger flex to start a new year off with a clean set of makeup brushes. I'm gonna go in with Blush Intense on top and it's got that really lovely kind of burnt orange tone to it. I'm gonna go in with my highlight brush and tap the highlight. I've actually been using Skin Dew with this brush. 
but I just want a little bit of this on the top of the cheeks. Because our whole complexion is very, very glowy, I feel like you can almost use less powder highlight, but this will just really lock everything into place and make everything pop. Love bringing a little bit of highlight kind of in between my brows. Because we've used powders, I'm gonna set again quite lightly. We'll wait for that to dry. Powder again on top. Then all we've got to do is eyes and lips. So easy. Right, let's let me undo our eyes. Look at that skin. Ugh. We're gonna be using Old Faithful Vivi Wand and Sand as my base. And then I thought to battle the, you always do the same makeup. We're gonna do cool tones for New Year, which I have never done before in my life. We're gonna use the 90s palette. Fun fact, best selling palette to date. Let me fact check that. I'll put it here if I'm right or wrong, with a yes or a no. The cool toned guys and girls know. And I'm just gonna literally be going in with a, a multitude of these shades to create something gorgeous. And I've got one of the e.l.f. glitter toppers to use, which is literally called Disco Queen. So we're gonna start with sand all over, scribble that on, easy peasy. Then I'm gonna pat that out with my Conceal and Prime brush. And I think I want to create something. I mean, I know exactly what colors I want to use, but it's the shape that I'm thinking about. And I feel like maybe that's the, the rut that I am stuck in, is I always do the same shape. I've been doing winged eyeliner every day for about a year because of powdering liner, which I love and I feel very comfortable with, but part of me is like, right, okay, get a grip, move on, try something new. I'm gonna start with whatever. And we're gonna go in the outer corner. Yeah, just like so. I'm keeping it quite small. And I'm using my brush to stamp on the color mostly. I'm not really blending out too much. By applying eyeshadow like this, it doesn't really fall, if that makes sense. You don't get much fallout. And then I think I'm gonna go in with Skimp, which is the lightest color. Look how much I use that. Do you see the dip in it? And even though it's really fair, really, really light, got great pigment, so you can start kind of building up that cool tone across the lid. I'm really chucking that on. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Low Rise, which is this middle shade here. Really nice, mauve toned gray. And I'm actually gonna go just in here. Same brush, so I've got a little bit of residual, whatever on it. So see by doing this, you just add in that kind of extra something, that extra dimension. And I'm almost joining that to my brow. It's quite, quite avant-garde, but when you do it with a soft hand and make sure everything's really nice and blended, it's almost undetectable. You know that there's something cool going on, but you can't quite tell what it is. And I'm just blending that out with a lighter shade again. So I quite like that. It's almost like it's quite a strong shape, but it's got a little bit of softness to it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Acid Wash, which is one of my shimmers. Really buttery shimmer. I'm gonna spray that with my All Nature Setting Spray. Oh my God, that's beautiful. But we're gonna use that all over the center part of the eye, right up. I like going kind of past the crease. I think it makes the eye look much bigger. This is quite like a club rat makeup. I feel like I would wear this if I was going out, out, out. Out, out, out is one more than out, out. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. glitter. I think my favorite way to apply these is straight from the bullet and then have a brush. Just have a wee brush ready to tap it out. Oh my God. See, when I've been making shimmer eyeshadows, I always think that they need to be glittery or they need to have this kind of impact, which I've seen I've seen some that, that you can use, but they're just a little bit one-stop shop. I love adding glitters and things on top of my shimmer eyeshadows to make them like this. Because if it was just this, it wouldn't work, but on top of the shimmer eyeshadow, it's perfect. I'm trying not to move around anything too much because I think that whatever this texture is, it kind of moves your eyeshadow around underneath. Like there, I can see it's splitting a little bit. So that's why it's great to have a brush to almost tap it out. And you can almost go back in with your shimmer eyeshadow if you need to blend it out. That's fair enough. I want to add wings, so I'm going to. I kind of want to add big ones. Now that I've got here, I can see that I actually do in fact want to blend this line out. That's really annoying me. So I'm just gonna take my brush with a little extra eyeshadow and I'm blending up and out. And then what you can do, see how I've gone kind of past the liner here. You just get your concealing prime brush and just blend that away underneath. Oh my God. I'm leaving the under eye free at the moment because I quite like how heavy it is on top and I just feel like it's giving me a facelift, which I could do with. Mascara, we're gonna do Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm gonna put a tiny amount on my lower lashes so they're, just so they're not like light in color. I don't want them to be super chunky or anything, but I don't want them to be like transparent. Half lash in the style 
smoky. I've cut one little sprig off. Do you know that multitasking is actually a myth? You can multitask, but you can do more than one thing at once. It'll never be as good as if you just do one task at a time. I also felt very disappointed when I heard that because I do multiple things at once all the time. And that, my friends, is where the term less but better comes from. Interesting, eh? If you don't believe me, Google it. Right, I'm gonna put my lash on and see if I've got my big wing. Oh my God, it just makes it so easy because I just stick it to the liner. Look at that, it's game over. This is the flirtiest little eye I've ever done on myself. I'm making myself shy. And they're just so easy. See, because they're just little sprigs of lash, they're just so easy to put on. I'll let them set a little bit and then I'll give them a squeeze and that's them on for the night. Uh, let's zoom you out into our lips. I always love zooming out and seeing what the makeup's looking like with the eyes done because I think it ch changes everything. I didn't have a lip out because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but now I do know what I want to do. My new fave, tailored, which needs sharpened. And we're gonna sketch out this big pouty lip in the middle. I'm gonna blend that out with a little bit of Velvet Sands, which is the palest lip liner, and see when you just mix these together when they're still setting. It just blends everything for you, so easy. 90s lipstick. That's the makeup, I hope you love it. Let's have a look at this hair. I've actually already done it. I styled it all yesterday. Oh, I quite like the kind of tussled. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna chuck some oil through the ends. I've got my Virtue Healing Hair Oil. I kind of love what second day hair looks like. It's always a bit flatter, a little bit less perfect, a little bit less done. And I think that that's what I'm not loving is my hair looking at all too done, too prissy. For my outfit, we're at a little bit of a loss. Uh, let me show you why. Something's happened since yesterday and I am really no longer fitting in any of my clothes. I've gotten much bumpier. I know exactly what I'm gonna wear, so I'm gonna go and check it on and I'm gonna come back and show you. If you know me, you'll know that my like feel safe outfit is a suit. I've not worn this suit in quite a while, even before I got prego. I think it fits my, I'm kind of nervous about my chest falling out. So this outfit's not a definite is basically what I'm saying. But what I will say is if you are like me, I like wearing dresses and skirts sometimes, but I definitely feel most comfortable in trousers or jeans. And you've not tried wearing a suit, please try it because, oh my God, I could honestly wear a suit every single day. I love it. I feel very powerful, but I also feel very feminine. It's like my favorite thing ever. So this is just a Zara suit. I've had it for ages. Their suits are nice. Their tailoring's quite nice. The sizing's a bit wonky sometimes. These trousers are short and I think I've got them in a large, or maybe even an extra large. I mean, Zara sizes are quite wild. But if I show you, it just looks quite cool. The only thing is, I wish it was almost like a bit bigger. It does look good. I really like the color. Um, see the kind of beige, the kind of stone beige color with my tan and my cool toned eyes. I think it's really, really cool. So makeup, love, hair, I think just looks quite messy and undone. I think there's something that looks quite cool about that. Just like I've not really made an effort, but I have. I just made it yesterday. New year, you might see me in something else, wearing something else, because this isn't really fitting the way it used to. I hope you liked the video. Now that we're at the end of the video, I'm really excited to say I have a little box of treats that I want to give someone. So if you saw my last video, you'll see that I kind of did a little bit of a, a vive fairy moment. I dropped into three people's houses with a gift box just to say thanks for all the support. I love doing it so much that I made another one and I want to give it to one of you guys. So this is the box by the way. It's one of the Vive gift boxes and it's just got loads of lovely bits from Vive. We've got an eyeshadow palette, lipstick lip liner, my power ink liner, an eye wand, skin nova hair clips sharpener. It's just, it's just a cute little makeup set that I want to give away. So if you just comment down below with your like, Instagram handle and let me know what your resolution is. That's a good one because it will inspire me as well. Let me know if you've got any New Year's resolutions, if there's anything you want to work on and I'll just pick a winner in the new year and get this sent to you. Easy as that. This is the last you'll see of me in 2022. I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you to you, Tan, for sponsoring and posting this video, of course. Thank you to you all for watching, as always. It really means the world. I, can't, I still can't believe I get to do this job. I can't believe I get to have a brand that's like the love of my life. I can't believe that I get to still do this as a job as well. I can't believe that I'm going to be a mum next year. It's just, it's all quite like pinch me exciting. And I, I just want you to know how grateful I am because it's 
so much of the, the great things in my life just wouldn't be a possibility without you. So thank you. And I hope you have a great new year and I will see you in 2023. Bye. Tell you something is absolutely wild what happens to your tatas when you're pregnant. Wait, is mine? I've got a new one that I want to use. Of all time. I feel like an ASMR person. <laughs> so stu, stu, so stu, so stu. <laughs> well, I gotta take a shot every time I say the word product. That's so annoying. I'll cheers to that. I always feel like Leonardo DiCaprio when I've got this glass. God, <laughs> stop. There's something quite 80s about this makeup, and I think it's this. <laughs>